I've been working on some portraits with different head tilts and turns. In this video I wanted to share the process and thoughts that went into creating this small drawing. The purpose of these drawings is to study the form of a face, which is what I keep in mind when it comes to shading. The paper in my sketchbook is rather thin, at least for the hard lead pencils that I prefer using. It creates a unique scratched grainy texture that I actually really like. I feel like it gives more character to these smaller portraits. Lately I've been enjoying low contrast drawings, so I'm keeping my values close together. I'm learning more about the form this way. The paper is also toned, so it is not pure white. These are the materials I ended up using. I'm starting by placing a few lines, outlining the shape of the head take a few measurements and constantly observe and adjust the proportions. I keep in mind that this head is tilted down and looking straight. I use a mirror a lot throughout the drawing process. It is a great tool to get a fresh view of the drawing and your subject. After making a rough sketch, I'm thinking about how dark I want to go with this drawing. Sometimes I use charcoal, and other times just an HB pencil. If the subject has dark hair, I will shade that in as well. I won't go too dark all the way here, because I'm still not sure if this is the correct outline. I'm shading the eyebrows, pupils and other dark areas first. I also blend them a bit with a blending stamp. I constantly adjust the proportions and I use a skewer to check alignments. Here I'm using 6H pencil, which is harder lead but still quite soft. Now I'm using 8H, shading the form. I use the eraser a lot too. This middle area of the forehead, between the eyebrows, appears darker compared to the nose and upper forehead. I'm shortening the eyebrows and softening this bone area. I'm constantly moving from one place to another. I'm trying to connect values but still keep the lights clean. This side of a face should be smaller so I'm adjusting it.
I'm still not sure about the ears. They are an important feature for a head in a tilt, but they often confuse me, so I'll leave them for now. I'm trying not to use a lot of blending stamps, just in dark areas. This area of the nose needs to be softer. I'm observing and trying to understand these lips. The head is tilted down, so the upper lip will appear thinner than it would if the head were facing straight. The bottom lip is more visible. I'm softening the shadow under the bottom lip. The head looks weird, because it has no volume yet. The ears should be positioned higher up. In this case, the bottom should align with upper eyelids, so I'm moving them up. Need to soften this area. I'm shaping the nose and connecting the values, bringing back the light and highlights. This muscle here is quite interesting. The corner of the mouth has a soft appearance.
the chin will be slightly darker than the forehead and nose because those areas are facing the light more directly. I often feel my own face with my hands to understand how features are connected. In this case, how the nose blends into the cheeks. The tip of the nose obviously isn't connected, so I feel like it should have a harder edge. Now I can erase these lines that were guiding me. Here I'm trying to connect this area with the area under the eye. This solid shape of dark tone is bothering me, so I'm trying to fix that. Lower lip should be darker and upper lip is overlapping. Now I'm paying closer attention to the eyes. I want this drawing to look natural rather than stylized. I also take a look at my face in the mirror, in this position, to better understand how the upper eyelids move and how much they are visible. The eyes seem a bit too far apart, so I'm moving them slightly closer together. Since this is a really small drawing, I can't erase to get to the highlight, so I will use a tiny amount of gesso instead. I'm trying to model the head. The sides and back of the head should be darker than the front.
wrinkles are not just flat lines, they have form. I don't want them to be distracting, but I think they are important for this head position and eye movement. So again, I'm keeping this drawing lighter. This would be the darkest tone. If I was to make pupils this dark, they would stand out too much for my taste. Transition here should be softer, so I'm adjusting it. I don't want ears to have a hard edge or clear outline because they are kind of further back than the face so I think keeping them softer will bring more attention to the eyes. This distracting line needs to be toned down. I want to get rid of this dark outline, so I'm shading and blending it into the shirt. I needed to make shape of a head more irregular and natural looking. This part is all about adjusting everything to my liking. While this drawing might not appeal to everyone, I hope you can still find something useful in my process. By the way, I want to try professional paper for detailed drawings. I will be creating a longer portrait with more accurate measurements right from the start. So I was thinking of filming it in a similar way to this. Let me know what you think and thanks to everyone who subscribed and left a nice comment, I really appreciate it.
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.